Welcome to a new HBAR Hedera update. Is HBAR close to the end of this correction? Is this a good time to DCA? In this video, I will talk about the support levels to hold for HBAR and much more. Before we dive into the video, I want to make you guys aware of my Signal Group. It has helped a lot of people to make serious profits. You don't need to have any special knowledge to start making money with it. When you join my Signal Group, you will receive alerts on the most promising trades, including entry and exit points. We are constantly outperforming the market with an average win rate over 70%. You can find the link in the description. For the last few days, HBAR has been hovering around the 6 cent area, as you can see here on the chart. We have actually three or four uh, daily candle closes here around the 6 cent region. So there is definitely some support here. Uh, but yeah, the big question is, are we still, do we still have to come down deeper into my green support box? Or is the correction already over for HBAR? Well, first of all, what we're going to do here is we're going to draw, uh, draw out a Fibonacci retracement tool from off the bear market low here uh, towards the switch high we have made actually on the 12th of february 2023 and then you can actually see that the golden fibonacci ratio on the linear time scale is starting here at 5.9 cents let's say six cents and on the logarithmic time scale it's located at 5.2 cents so according to um yeah the most common uh uh, retracement areas for a possible wave 2 correction we are talking about the golden fibonacci ratio so according to this analysis it is a little bit more likely that hbar will see one more low uh, into my green support box and for the new subscribers uh, just a quick recap here i think the bear market low for hbar has been made at the end of december 2022 since then we moved up impulsively in five waves here towards the upside to complete a larger elliott wave one since then we corrected down in this abc correction we are right now in the c wave if we draw this out you can actually see what i mean so this was an a wave to the downside in my opinion this could be a c wave and a b wave sorry and right now we are coming down in this c wave correction this is the most likely scenario at the moment and this will then be the completion of this larger elliott wave 2 uh, when this is completed i do expect a lot more upside for h bar in this wave 3 i will give you the price targets as soon as as we are seeing a uh, yeah confirmation that we are heading up higher but at the moment it is still a little bit more likely that we have one more low to go here for h bar before that potential trend reversal so i'm still monitoring this very closely i'm trading most of my altcoins on bitget bitget is a non-kyc exchange with some of the cheapest trading fees compared to other exchanges if you sign up through my link in the description you can claim up to five thousand us dollars in bonus rewards and also 50 percent discount on all your trading fees and you support the channel as well so make sure to check bitget out if we take a look at the indicators we can actually see that on the daily time frame there is a, a buy signal at the moment flashing on this momentum indicator uh, into the oversold region and this is indicating to us that we could potentially expect a lot more upside very soon for hbar um, stochastic rsi at the moment still trending down a little bit but we are oversold so i have to say the downside potential is fairly limited from of this point but if we see more downside watch out for that six cent region and perhaps at 5.2 cent area the macd indicator also losing sell pressure but we don't have a bullish crossover yet so i'm still monitoring this very closely um, how do we know that the correction is over for h bar well i'm going to give you the target here so if H bar breaks above, let's say eight cents, then I can confirm to you guys that this correction is most likely over. But as long as we are below eight cents, and as long as we are below this downward sloping resistance line, we still have a very high probability that, are, that there is still more downside to come. If we zoom out here to the daily time frame, you can actually see that this downward sloping trend line was holding the price back basically from off March 2022. Uh, we got right now two touch points and um, this line will also provide some resistance. So a break through this trend line would also be a confirmation that we are going to go a lot higher for H bar. But at the moment, I primarily still do expect maybe one more low here for H bar in the short term.
this is the four hourly time frame and we are already getting very oversold rsi is already moving up strongly here creating higher lows while the price is creating lower lows but it is still possible that we will see one more last low here for h bar for those of you who are interested in trading this you could of course short this i wouldn't do so but if you want to do this make sure your stop loss is set at 6.6 .6 cents and your take profit is actually first take profit is at six cents second take profit could be all the way down towards 5.2 cents but it, it is a risky one uh, it's definitely not the best risk to reward ratio that's why i am not shorting this um, but yeah that is what you could do so at the moment i still do expect one more low uh, maybe that's going to happen today or tomorrow and from there on i do expect a strong reaction to the upside here for h bar and that's my quick analysis please like the video subscribe to my channel i want to thank you guys for watching and i see you in the next h bar update bye bye